Welcome back once again. In this quick tutorial, I will explain how you can set up backups for your website, how you can restore backups um, for your website at SiteGround. It's, excuse me, it's very easy to do, like almost everything that you can do uh, over at SiteGround. That's one of the main reasons that I am staying with SiteGround. I love SiteGround, I love the service they provide, I love how the interface is working. It's also very easy because I'm really not a technical guy. For me, it's important that everything is simple, fast, and um, yeah, that's it. So I don't like any technical stuff and SiteGround is the perfect hosting uh, provider because I have experience with a lot of hosting providers. But SiteGround is, is by far the one that has the how you say the most easy to use interface or dashboard or whatever you want to call it so enough uh, about that let's go to the uh, point of this video and that is the backups SiteGround will automatically create backups for your website and of course that is very useful because if for whatever reason something has gone gone wrong or maybe you did something wrong or whatever but for whatever reason you want to set a backup for your website or you want to restore it, then you can do it at SiteGround and they, by default, manage uh, backups and they create backups for you. And uh, how it works is you just have to go to your Site Tools panel for your website. In this case, it's this website that I have created for uh, the tor tutorial that I have, um, for all the tutorials that I've uh, uploaded to my YouTube channel and also over here on the website, websitelearninglab.com. You can find all the tutorials, it's uh, free. So uh, in these tutorials, I will explain from A to Z how you can create your own website um, and of course, with SiteGround hosting. So you uh, have to log in into your Site Tools panel from your SiteGround dashboard. Now, the only thing you have to do is go over here to the security options you have a lot of, uh, or not a lot of, but you have several options to choose from and you just go to backups, which is the one at the top. Click on it and I, offer, uh, I already have done that. So now I'm over here at the backups uh, screen. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. You can see all the backups that are automatically uh, are created. You can even click on load more. So now you can see um, uh, not tutorials, but backups from uh, last month, uh, and they create a backup almost every day. Not almost, they create a backup every day for a certain period. So let's say that I want to um, restore a backup from, let's say, uh, this date, uh, from uh, the 9th of uh, December, we are at the 15th of December at the moment, but let's say I want to uh, set, uh, restore the backup from this date, then the only thing I have to do is go to the, the backup that you want to restore, click on the three dots over here, and now you see an, a couple of uh, options. You can restore several things. You have uh, you can uh, choose this one. This is restore all files and databases. So basically that's a, a full uh, restore of everything uh, related to your website. You can also choose to only restore files. You can uh, choose the option to only restore the database. Or you can also choose the option to only restore the emails. So it depends on what you want to restore. But let's say you want to restore everything, just all files and all the data uh, databases. Then you just select this option, click on it. I will not do it for now because I don't want to restore anything. But that's it. So just click on this option, confirm it and then SiteGround will automatically restore the backup of your website and you can go on from there. So that's it, just go to security, backups, click on, uh, go to the date that you want to restore, click on the three uh, dots over here and select what you want to restore. That's it, I hope this tutorial is helpful once again like always, like I always mention, if you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe to the damn channel, hit the thumbs up, also hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated on 
everything that I will upload in the near future. And please also um, let me know what kind of content you want me to create because now uh, I'm basically uh, yeah uploading all kind of basic things that I think it's important for complete beginners to know and to learn how to get started with creating websites uh, and how to use it and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, there are a lot of more things that I am uh, familiar with that I have learned uh, myself and that I'm successful with. Uh, for example, uh, how to set up uh, 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 advertising campaigns in Google Ads or how to do uh, affiliate marketing, sign up with uh, different affiliate networks or um, how you can set up tracking for your website so you can uh, actively track your uh, advertising campaigns, all that kind of stuff. So. Make sure to let me know what kind of content you would like to see on this channel. And then, of course, I will create videos about that topic. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I will see you again in the next video.